Hi, I'm Adrian Kennard and today I'm going to be dismantling a solid state relay. Now there are a lot of solid state relays around now. Uh, I was quite surprised to find that there seems to be quite a, a common format and they can handle a lot of power now. The one I picked up says 40 amps on it, which is absolutely crazy. And you can get ones that go up to 100 amps and you can get three phase, it's, it's amazing. The key thing is the input voltage. They go to, from three volts. Now this means you can connect it directly to the GPIO pin on a microcontroller, which is really quite amazing. So let's take it apart and see what's inside. So I'm going to take apart this, which I got from Amazon. It was about eight quid. And as you can see, it says 480 volts and 40 amps. We'll see if that's to be believed. Now it seems that this is a very common form factor. There are a lot of these, single phase, three phase, and so on. And um, as you can see, it's output on these two, input on these. And the nice thing here is the three to 32 volts input, which allows me to connect it directly to the GPIO pin on a microcontroller. Now this particular one has a nice plastic cover, which is one of the main reasons I bought it. Um, screws. You can see there's some fairly substantial posts there. And for the actual 40 amp, even more substantial. And the first thing is this top comes off. It's just a little plastic cover. Right. Now you can see that um, it's got this potting compound all over it. And these pins here are connected to the track. Now the back is a big heat sink. The idea is um, this can actually need quite a big heat sink on the back. In my case, I've screwed it to a big metal case. And the track, these three leads go down to the track. Uh, if I try and pull this apart, I will actually snap the track, I know from experience. So I'm going to, for the purposes of this demonstration, attempt to cut these so that I can remove it without snapping the track. Well, we can but try. Does that lead? That one. Oh, that was a nasty click. I hope I haven't broken the track because I want to read the part number off the track. Main reason I'm doing it like this. I should be able to prize this out. Yeah, this is coming out now. <laughs> That went flying. Oh, ah, what cracked was the cover on this component here. I'm not sure what component that is. Um, but we can take an opportunity to have a quick look at this. So we've got low voltage coming in here. We have some components here, resistor, transistor. Um, that's connected through to the, more resistors connecting through to the LED, rather fun wiring. And you can probably see that that is all on that end of the board. And then there's this slot cut and then components here and then a bigger slot cut, which is where the triac controls. And then at the top here is the actual mains voltage. Now the component here that spans from the low voltage to the high voltage is an opto isolator. And this works by having an LED this side and a photo transistor this side. And the only connection from this side to this side is light. There's no electrical connection at all. So that ensures that the low voltage is never going to get connected to the high voltage by mistake by any means, including things like this slot in the circuit board, just to make sure. So let's have a look at the track. This might need something a bit more substantial. Potting compound in there, it goes all the way through and sticks to the track. And the track is uh, soldered to the base here. And the fun thing is there's potting compound on the chip, which I'm gonna try and get off. I can read it. it. Makes it a bit tricky to see, unfortunately. 
usually this potting command is quite brittle, so it's not really too difficult to get off. Of course, it's stuck to the lettering, which is the very thing I want to read. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Well, you can hear some knocking on the door. It's because I have a two-year-old granddaughter who's quite keen to get in and visit me right in the middle of me doing a video. BTA BTA 41800. Okay, the good news is that a BTA 41800 is a proper 40 amp track. So this is the real deal. Even though it was dirt cheap off Amazon, this, well it was before I demolished it, is the real deal. This is a 40 amp track on a nice big heatsink. So that should be able to do 40 amps, 480 volts, zero voltage crossing. So that's quite impressive. That's, uh, that's what you end up with. There you go. One dirt cheap, quite amazing solid state relay, which I can connect directly to a microcontroller running off 3.3 volts and control 40 amps of 480 volts. Thank you for watching.